Hello my loves, welcome back to my channel. We are almost entering March, the third month of 2024 and I was just scrolling through the webs and I was just like thinking about all the beauty trends that come and go and what 2023 was about. I was kind of like, you know, reflecting on our past beauty trends and um, I want to make this video about the beauty trends that we can predict. Uh, for the year 2024 so you can be ahead of the game also see what's happening in the world of beauty let's do a little bit of chit chat also i feel extremely summery right now now that it is night time and i don't have to sweat and worry about the heat oh my god it's so hot here in kochi please let me know what is the weather like wherever in the world that you are okay so let's get straight into it guys but before that if this is the very first time you've seen this face hello uh, i am jovita and i would love it if you took a second to click that red subscribe button just underneath this video and also guys just like uh, interact you know like a thumbs up or a comment or do some kind of engaging so I can keep showing up on your feed. <laughs> you guys really like my previous video, the huge empties video that I did. I will link it somewhere over here. Um, so thank you for liking it. Anyways, let's get started. The very first, I've got my notes as huge. <laughs> the very first trend that you're gonna see, I'm sure you've already caught up to it, is barrier repair. Every product that we see, every ad that we see, every new launch is about barrier repair, you know. Um, and that is very, very important because we are taking a huge shift from the multiple layering that we did since 2020. 21, 22, the huge rise in AHA, BHAs, glycolic acids and retinols. A lot of misuse was done. I've been, you know, preparing and, uh, you know, at least showing my viewers the right way of minimalistic approach to skincare. But, you know, with the rise of short form content, people really took to abusing actives and uh, that has resulted in a lot of barrier damage and as a result barrier repair has become a trend and the need of the hour and the most important ingredient when it comes to barrier repair is two things if you are a jovi viewer you would know what i'm about to say it is ceramides and it is niacinamide ceramides you know is like the glue that holds our skin cells as we age we lose the percentage of ceramides in our skin and ceramides also is like the gatekeepers of our skin you know it keeps all the pollutants outside all the uh, whatever is irritating your skin outside of your skin keeps the water inside of your skin so that your skin st stays plump and healthy so we definitely need to replenish the ceramides because like i said as we age we lose ceramides and also like uh, when your skin barrier like the glue you know the glue is damaged is when the skin barrier is damaged so you need to put the glue back so your skin barrier gets strong and uh, keeps away that the bad stuff and you know keeps in the good stuff like the moisture and the minerals and the vitamins and keep away the pollutants and uh, all of that another thing is niacinamide i've spoken about niacinamide for years and years and years and if you think i'm not gonna give you recommendations you should be crazy like what so here is a moisturizer that has both you guys ceramides and niacinamide this is the dermaco 4% barrier repair moisturizer and this also contains an ingredient called oxylans now oxylans is um kind of new-ish ingredient in this whole skincare realm and you know we need oxygen we breathe oxygen our skin needs oxygen there are oxygen facials and a test was conducted on people where they applied oxylans on their face and after 28 days it was reported that the people with oxylans applied on their face had plumper brighter skin with lesser wrinkles and they also had something they call the yoga skin you know like when you do yoga you have that glow so oxalans gave that glow. So that is the another highlight ingredient of this moisturizer. And this obviously, you know, I love Dermaco. I love pretty much all the products they come out with. This is dermatologically tested and it really hydrates your skin. And the thing about Dermaco is that it is so, so 
affordable this is just 349 rupees for a 50 gram product it's fragrance free mineral oil free dye free all of those irritants free and the best part guys for summer this has a very very light gel texture do you see that so it's not going to make you sweat it's not going to make you um greasy it's going to hydrate your skin and also repair your barrier while you know it is so light and gel like usually when you think about a ceramide moisturizer think back all your favorite ceramide moisturizer they are a little bit more heavy and that's perfect for winter but um, yeah that is the reason why i love this moisturizer but uh, yeah get into the barrier repair guys not just for the face but also for body a lot of the times you know the uh, roll-ons that we use a lot of it has very strong ahas bhas lactic acid last year had this huge trend of you know actives um, roll-on and People use roll-on every day and that's, not, you know, you're using actives on a very sensitive area of your body. And um, similarly, there was body lotions with lactic acid. There was um, body washes with lactic acid and salicylic acid. So in case you've overdone it and you are seeing that your body is reacting, uh, get into the barrier repair. Try to find ceramides and niacinamide for your body as well. Barrier repair is a huge trend um, this year and I think it's uh, the perfect trend to just calm down and repair everyone's skin globally. The second trend I am predicting is the obsession with sunscreen is going to continue and uh, the proper use of sunscreen the thing is you know we have so many types of sunscreen now and such amazing formulations of sunscreen so new and improved formulations with new and improved uh, filters are coming out and it's just so exciting for me because it doesn't matter if you have dry skin or oily skin it doesn't matter if you live in the north of india or south of india where it is hot and humid or it's dry and just hot um you are going to find a sunscreen that m matches your needs and your skin type. You are going to find a sunscreen like a sunscreen stick that you can, you know, reapply uh, on the go. You are going to find sunscreen with actives in there uh, that will add to your whole skincare game and you're also going to find sunscreens that come in spray form so if you want to take a quick beach vacation or you don't like the whole application rubbery rubbery <laughs> but anyways you know so there are so many new and improved forms of sunscreen that is going to really push people into applying sunscreen the right way and also reapplying the sunscreen generously which excites me a lot because sunscreen is not just about avoiding tan which obviously Indian people are very into I don't want tan uh, but uh, it's also about aging it's also about skin health it's about not damaging your skin you know number three the trend is lip balms and lip glosses with SPF the number of PR I'm getting with lip balms and lip glosses with SPF. I'm so excited that something like this is happening because I remember the last time I used something like it was very, very rare that you found a lip balm with SPF and it wouldn't be the most comfortable on the lips, you know. And now you're finding lip balms and lip glosses and all of these with SPF with color in them, with tint in them, with with the waxy texture, with the glossy texture. So it's great that, you know, we can protect our lips as well because of course, like now I don't want pigmented lips. I have the very typical brown skin, two-tone lips. And when you go out in the sun without any sun protection, just like our skin, um, you know, the melanin in our uh, lips also increases. Uh, so it's great that there's going to be a huge influx of lip care products with SPF. Uh, it's high time that we started taking care of our lips as well. Number four is pigmentation regulation. Now that is something that is huge for all of us brown people. We've always wanted to get rid of pigmentation because our skin pigments so, so easily. Now what is pigment? I'm sure at this point you might already know, but I just want to touch on it. Um, so we brown people have a larger amount of melanin in our skin. Melanin is something that is naturally occurring in all human beings. Uh, darker people have more melanin in their skin and that is what causes the dark pigment in the skin and the hair and um, your iris. You know, wherever you see dark pigment, that's because of the amount of melanin in 
that skin so when you are exposed to the sun melanin production increases and also when you are exposed to the sun uh, it's not always even you know you get patchy you get hyperpigmentation so we brown people are more uh, prone to pigmentation because we have so much melanin in our skin and regulating our pigmentation is going to be of prime concern this year barrier repair pigmentation you've got glowy clear skin and of course vitamin c has been loved by many many people for so many years it works wonderfully for me but at the same time vitamin c doesn't suit a lot of people a lot of people are allergic to vitamin c and a lot of people gain absolutely no result with vitamin c so that is where you can use kojic acid now kojic acid when it is used in 2% is such a beautiful gentle acid to regulate your pigmentation and add the goodness of kesar that has been used in ayurveda for centuries guys centuries you know it is a really powerful mix of ingredients to give you smooth even toned skin and that is what i like about dr shet's kesar and kojic acid serum so this also contains focus and niacinamide so uh in my recent videos where i speak about skin care products you don't need i speak about why you do not need to buy a niacinamide single niacinamide serum because you know as you can see your skin care products like your moisturizer your serums the good ones already come with niacinamide you don't need to really add niacinamide separately into it i really like that about this the formulation is just so spectacular and this serum also has a very very light light liquidy texture which is just perfect for this time of the year it is not sticky and that is my biggest pet peeve when it comes to a serum when the serum is sticky oh my god oh my god you know like i cannot i cannot so this one is very water light in texture so you can apply it two times a day morning and at night after you wash your face and then top it off with a moisturizer so pigmentation is taken care of you know sebum oil control is happening everything everything is happening Number 4 is simplicity in skin care. This is something that I've been speaking about ever since my obsession with the 10 step Korean K beauty died back in 2017 I want to say. I was crazy about that 10 step routine guys. And then I realized it is not sustainable and it's not real, you know? So I as someone who gives advice on the internet also felt that it is very very wrong because people can pick up on like everyone is not watching every video of mine so you might watch today's video and then watch another video one month later and you pick up on bits and pieces of information which together accumulates into wrong piece of information so i've been speaking about minimalism in your skin care for the longest time you find out what your skin needs do you have acne just treat the acne and moisturize do you have uneven skin treat the unevenness and moisturize do you have dry skin just moisturize you know it's just about cleanse one treatment and if you have good skin if you don't have any issue you don't need a serum at all just go straight into moisturizer you know at night moisturize sleep in the morning apply sunscreen step out simplicity in skin care is going to be huge this year i know celebs are going to speak about it and somehow we need certain celebs to show uh, these things for us to catch them on as i don't know like bible verse you know but i know this year um i was talking about simplicity in skin care and rambling on and on when my sd card got full so i do not know where i stopped but i i'm sure you know enough about being simple in your skin care and my final point is the most exciting skin care trend i'm looking forward to it is neuropeptides neuropeptides now we have spoken about peptides uh on this channel but not as much because i'm also learning about peptides so peptides are short strings of amino acids and different kinds of peptides have different function so just because you see peptide on a skin care bottle doesn't mean that it is always going to do a certain thing you need to know what kind of peptide it is and some peptides have barrier repair function but some peptides are very 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 strong in their anti aging function so you really need to know what kind of peptide you peptide you are applying to your skin to really know gauge 
what effect you're gonna get there are so many types of peptides in the market guys so many oh my god i'm just like peptide is a subject that kind of intrigues me and challenges me and also makes me nervous because it's just such a vast subject now neuropeptides are peptides that's going to talk directly to your muscles on your face so all the skin care that we apply the skin care ingredients talk to the skin skin not the muscles this is wild if you know if something like this comes across like i know i know they are trying to formulate this uh, but if it comes to india oh my god it's wild because that, this is something that botox does you know botox is an injection it's a, a neurotoxin that relaxes or freezes that particular muscle so it relaxes that muscle and um, if you can get that in a serum or in a bottle you know a product that can actually relax your muscles so all of these frown lines smile lines they can all be eliminated or reduced or treated with just a serum that's wild so uh, if this happens i'm kind of predicting this to come across in the late end of 2024 others 2025 i'm very very excited about it but uh, yeah these are the top six skincare trends that i am predicting now very very kindly this video was sponsored by honasa and uh, guys i i just feel like i need to make this disclaimer because i don't even know when was the last time i did a <laughs> sponsored video on this you know vertical of my youtube channel but people just think i don't know anyways if i did not like these products if i have not used these products i wouldn't talk about these products if i did not believe in them i wouldn't talk about them so yeah you can believe me when i say this and uh, that's that thank you so much Anasa, for sponsoring this video and i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please you know give it a thumbs up and i cannot wait to hear your thoughts on the same thing sometimes you guys come on to my dm and chat with me chat over here it actually helps me out and uh, share this video with someone if you feel it's like a topic of conversation you'd like to start with a friend of yours i don't know so that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and joining me. I love you so much and I shall see you in my next one.